KVR Maths Academy, Maths in Easy Way. Hi friends, how are you? I am good. Okay, today in this video, I'll explain basic proportionality theorem. I'll explain basic proportionality theorem, which is also called a Thale theorem, simply BPT. So before going to the topic, I'll say one thing. Please subscribe my, my math channel. Those who are not subscribed yet. Okay. Yes, let's go through this. Yeah. Look here. What is the statement of the basic proportionality theorem? What is the statement? See, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. Right? Come again? Yes, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides, in distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio yes in a triangle what he has given in a triangle suppose a b c is a triangle okay a line parallel to a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle suppose a line a line drawn parallel to one side of the triangle okay to intersect the other two sides in distinct points this intersects other two sides in distinct points which are the points are d and e suppose d and e then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio these two sides are divided in the same ratio Understood? If a line drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, it intersects the other two sides in distinct points, then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio. That is the theorem. Same ratio means here AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Right? We have to prove this one. AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. These are the points divided the two sides in the same ratio. Right? Yeah. Let us prove this one. Right? Yeah. First, uh, given. Given. What has given in triangle ABC? In triangle ABC. See, DE is parallel to BC, right? DE is parallel to BC, which intersects, which intersects AB, AB and AC at AB at D and AC at E. Na. So, at D and E respectively. Right? DE is parallel to BC which intersects AB and AC at D and E respectively. Right? Yeah. Next term. RTP. What is RTP? What we require to prove? Yes, ratio. AD by DB AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. AE by EC. We have to prove this one. Right? Yeah. For proof, for proof, we have to construct some lines in the triangle. Let us write construction. Construction. What is construction? Look here. First join CD and BE. Okay. Join CD and uh, BE. Right? Next, uh, draw perpendiculars on AB and AC. Look here. This is, this is the perpendicular on AC. Suppose DM is the perpendicular on 
AC and EN. EN is the perpendicular on AB. Okay. DM is the perpendicular on AC and EN is the perpendicular on AB. Yes. Draw DM perpendicular to AC and EN perpendicular to EN is perpendicular to AB. Right? Uh, yes. After that, we will prove now. Yes. I think you have noted this one. Have you noted? Yes. Shall I rub now this one? Okay. Okay. I am rubbing. Next. Go through the proof. Right? Go through the proof. Yeah. Look here. Here, on the suppose if you take um, AB as the base, two triangles are there. That is ADE and BDE. After that, on the base of AC, two triangles AED and CDE. Okay. Uh, first, on the base of AB, I am taking area of area of triangle ADE. Area of triangle ADE is actually what is the area of the triangle when base and height has given? Yes, what is that? Yes, of BH, right? Yes, half BH. So here half, here base means in triangle ADE. Here base is AD, right? Yeah. Half into AD into what is the perpendicular? That is, yes, EN. AD into EN. Right. Uh, next. I can take area of triangle BDE. Area of triangle BDE. BDE. Yes, here also same of BH. That is, Half into here base is yes db base is db and uh, here perpendicular is yes that is en only right en okay now area of triangle ade by area of triangle ade by area of triangle bde bde take what happens that is half into ad into en by half into db into en right okay yeah so uh, observe the numerator and denominator half half get cancelled en en get cancelled what is the remaining part ad by db right so think it of equation number one understood finally area of triangle ad by tri area of triangle bd is equal to we got AD by DB. Isn't it? Yes. In the same way, uh, take as base as AC. On AC, triangles take. Look here. Area of, here triangle again AED. AED or ADE. Both are same only. Uh, so, area of triangle ADE is equal to, this is also half BH. That is half into here base is of, suppose if you take AE as the base, AE into what is the perpendicular height on AE? Yes, DM is the height, very good, DM, right, yeah. Next, uh, in the same way, area of triangle, the base of AEC, that is CDE, right, yes, area of triangle. CDE is equal to, it is also half BH, that is half into, base is here, yes, C, base is EC into, your perpendicular is, yes, exactly, DM, understood, yeah, now, take this one, area of triangle ADE by area of triangle CDE is equal to, half into 
ए इंटू डी एम बै हाफ इंटू इसी इंटू डी एम इज इट या अबजर्व एगेन अबजर्व दिस न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर या हाफ हाफ गेट कैंसल डी एम डी एम गेट कैंसल वाट इज द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ए बै इसी राइट सो दिस इज थिंग इट ऑफ इक्वेशन नंबर टू एंड स्टार्ट हि ट्रे एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल ए डी बै ट्रैंगल ए एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल बी डी इज ईक्वल टू ए डी बै डी बी नेक्स्ट एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल ए डी बै एरिया ऑफ ट्रैंगल सी डी इज ईक्वल टू ए बै ए सी अब जब क्लियरली दीज आर दी डी एंड सी डी ट्रैंगल सी बी डी एंड सी डी ट्रैंगल आर ऑन द सेम बेस रईट आर ऑन द सेम बेस डी रईट आर नाट दीज आर द ट्रैंगल Area of triangle BDE and area of triangle CDE. These are the triangles on the same base DE, right or not? Next, uh, these two triangles on the same parallels, same parallel lines, which are BC and DE, right? What happens then? Yes, then area of triangle BDE is equal to area of triangle CDE, right or not? Yes, why? Because of they are on the same base. they are on the same base as well as they are in between two parallel lines they are in between two parallel lines that's why these two triangles are these two triangles are equal uh, clearly triangle bde and bde and triangle cde or on the same base same base what is that de and between the parallel parallel lines parallel lines bc and de right bc and de okay therefore area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle cde area of triangle bde is equal to area of triangle cde both are same this is equation number 3 look here this is area of triangle this is bde and this is cde here what we have proved these both are equal these both area of triangle bd and area of triangle cd both are equal then what happens automatically in the place of bd if you substitute cd then ad by db is equal to ee by ee by ec or not yes automatically both are equal otherwise here in the place of cd if you substitute bd Why? Because of both are equal, na. No? If you substitute uh, CD, then AD by BDB is also equal to AE by EC, right or not? Yes. From one, two, and three, we can clearly say AD by DB is equal to AE by EC. Hence, proved. right is it clear have you understood clearly yes so this is the proof of basic proportionality theorem it is also called as tails theorem and simply bpt bpt means basic proportionality theorem it is very very important in 10th class mathematics understood